All right, a local man is going for a world record. This weekend, he will attempt to carve a ton of pumpkins. I mean, a ton of pumpkins <laughs> in less than four hours, 17 minutes, and 26 seconds. So here to show us the skill that could land him in the record books, we're joined by professional pumpkin carver, Tim Pate. Good to have you with us today. It's good to be here. Thank you. You are a professional pumpkin carver. How do you get a job like that? Well, first you have to live on Sovi Island and live next to uh, the owners of the pumpkin patch. Oh, there you go. That happened How to me. How could you not then? <laughs> Seven years ago, that happened to me, and, and I looked over there, and I saw all these giant pumpkins, and I'm going, I got to do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And uh, uh, you, you, you like to carve different kinds of pumpkins too don't you? you have some favorite designs I, I have a lot of uh, designs that kids think are their favorites yeah. and so I, I repeated many designs uh, the oh same take a look at this one what's this one uh, that is a, a that's a, a green man motif oh fun I do that a lot uh, and it's a little complicated but uh, when I do it I, I go into elementary schools and I'll teach them how to draw a face mm -hmm. on the pumpkin and then I'll teach a, a carving class and a pumpkin class and a tool safety class and what's this one here uh, that looks like something trying to escape out of a pumpkin to me <laughs> <laughs> all right and, and when you carve you don't just grab a butter knife and a fork and a spoon and go at it, but you've got real woodworking tools here that you use. Some of them I've made, some of them are, like this is an antique uh, uh, melon baller. It's mm -hmm. over 100 years old. Oh, wow. And it, but it's one of my favorite tools. Mm -hmm. uh, these tools, when I carved the giant boys, I had to make these because there's nothing out there on the market to do that. But normally, yeah, I have some sculpting tools that I really, really like. A really nice, sharp kitchen knife will work mm -hmm. very good. Uh, and obviously everything here is pretty sharp. So are you yeah. concerned at all that you may not break the world record or do you feel like confident that you can do that this weekend? I think that person who, car who carved that, that in four hours and 17 minutes yeah. and such, I think they had to, they, the minimum weight on the pumpkins was 18 pounds. Mm -hmm. I think they had 120 pound pumpkins that they had to carve. I'm going to have 2,000 pounders that I'm going to carve. Now, where did you find 2,000 oh, two two pound pumpkins? They're going to have them at the Terminator Way in at Chinook Winds. Yeah. And that's where the, the competition for the way in is this weekend. And then that's Saturday. And then on Sunday, I'll be at Chinook Winds and, and at 1 o'clock attempting so to. 2,000 pound pumpkins. Right. Yes. That shouldn't take too long. Exactly. <laughs> so I so intend to smash the world record. Are you going to do something <laughs> as fancy as what we've seen you do before? It's uh, the rules state that I am supposed to carve the traditional jack-o'-lantern style. That means eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, with the lantern top cut off and put back on. Right. Wow. Yeah. Can you show us how fast you can look, taking a look at this pumpkin? Can I, we? Sure. Can we time you on this course. one at all? Of course. Look out. All right. You ready? Here we go. All right. So we're just going to carve this, the traditional jack-o'-lantern, which is... On your mark, get set, go. And now you don't, you don't need to gut it, huh? Uh, no. The, the rules say nothing about gutting which is an awfully nice thing for me. Do you ever injure yourself? I have occasionally nicked myself over the years, but usually it's on big pieces of stone. Oh, yeah, because you're so a stone carver as well, I'm right? I'm a seventh generation stone carver. And wood carver? And wood carver. I love working with glass. I love working with metal. Uh, in fact, I'm, the, the tools I made over there, I made in a welding class. It doesn't make okay, you nervous to talk. One right there's there. one. No, not so at all. So that was 28 seconds. That counts as well. If I wanted to go ahead and chip, 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 cut it out and gut it, I could do that really quick. But uh, in fact, just so you can even see oh, it see, a little bit better. Oh, see, I keep thinking better. you're going to jam don't yourself. Don't do this at home. Yeah. I have uh, complete I just... control over this tool. Yeah? Yeah. I'm That's going... why you're different than I am. <laughs> <laughs> My great grandfather, who taught me how to carve when I was 14. Oh, now, really? down at uh, yeah. Chinook uh, Winston Street, they're also going to smash pumpkins onto a police car. I right? understand that yeah. they're going to do that, and it's, it's a it's benefit. It's a fundraiser, yeah. It's a fundraiser. Okay. So oh, now that, nice. is, that that's pretty that's quick right there, and if I cut it out, uh, you know, another two, two, three seconds, and I'm done. Well, yeah, let's, let's tell folks about, uh, about your appearance at Chinook Winds and your attempt to break the world record, which we know you're going to do. Uh, that's Saturday and Sunday at Chinook Winds Casino. We'll put that information on our website at k2.com. But you also want to give away an overnight stay at Chinook Winds so you can see that event in person. Yeah, it's for Sunday night. It's, uh, it's room, dinner, and, of course, you can see the pumpkin carving event. It's for Sunday night. Why don't we give that away right now? If you're available to go Sunday, if you're not available, don't, don't waste your phone call. If you're available to go Sunday, go ahead, dial the numbers on your screen, and let's take caller number 17. 
and you'll win an overnight stay at Chinook Winds. All that right, and we're, we're going to catch up with you a little bit later. All right. And we're going to uh, see more par pumpkin carving, and you're going to show us how to do it as well. Oh, oh good. Absolutely. Well, is, it is the season to carve your pumpkin, and back to share some professional tricks of the trade. We're joined once again by Master Carver. He's a pro pumpkin carver, Tim Pate. All right, so, Tim, what are some of the biggest mistakes that we amateurs make? I would think, I would think that... Uh, picking the wrong pumpkin or, or doing the wrong thing on the pumpkin or uh, you know I, how, do you, I think, how do you how do you pick, pick the, the wrong right, pumpkin how do you pick the right pumpkin okay. well I think I think all of them are actually pretty good but sometimes people will look at a pumpkin I don't want to know how to pick the wrong pumpkin I want to pick the right pumpkin the pumpkins okay. grow like this they right. don't you know they usually don't go on the end so you'll find you'll find a lot of times you'll have three really nice sides and, and right. a flat side and one kind of rum, yeah. rum crummy side a lot of times I'll carve on the bad side and and use that up and so you still have oh, three so remaining good nice. sides. Oh, so it looks nice. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, all right, good. Uh, and, and a lot of times, like this one, the ghost, when I picked up this yesterday, I thought maybe that would have some orange in it, Show but it didn't. But it's still Oh, I ghost. see. You were hoping that in here we'd have a little darker yeah. color to kind of have a contrast. You never can tell with the white ones. Huh, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, you never know, because it's, it's actually a squash, so hmm. you don't know. All right, but good. There we go. All and right. and it, a lot of times, too, I think uh, if you're in a hurry, you're doing it wrong. It's just a pumpkin, and you can make mistakes. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. All right. That's, that's one of my uh, good advice. The nice thing is that you know by by mid November they've rotted away, and no one knows. That's it. Yeah. That's, so that's it. Really Even if I spray thing. it with a polyacrylic or now, put. And, that, uh, and, and tell us oh. about that. You spray it. You spray them when you carve, right? I do. When I'm finished, and they dry, and they dry, mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes they'll weep if they're really fresh. I'll, I'll put a polyacrylic on it, or you can use Vaseline as well, and that will work too. Bill, right. we, th you did it to this one, didn't you? I, I did last night. Yeah. yeah, look at that All right. one. Let's carve this one. Now, okay. we, we okay. drew a spider. We drew a spider. See, make sure you get the spider there. Okay, you want to help me? Yes, indeed. Okay, I'm going to let you use my melon baller. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know that that's ever been said to me before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See the inside of the spider? Yeah. Let's cut that part out. Now, be gentle. So uh, don't go straight in. Kind of go at a, a melon ball scoop like. Like this. And stay within the lines. Remember what they said in kindergarten. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if I, I don't have to take it all out one piece. No, nope. you don't. Oh, good advice. You don't uh -oh. have to take it I out. I just went out of the lines. That's all right. All right. How deep am I going here? You went deep. That's how deep you went. <laughs> yeah, I, that's how deep you how went. How deep do I want to go? Now, be careful. Ah. Okay, this is going to take a while. I, I don't believe that I would set a world record like you are going to attempt <laughs> this weekend at Schnook Wins. What's the most unusual thing that you've carved out of a pumpkin? A lot of times people ask me to put their logos. I once put a giant chicken on a pumpkin. Really? Yeah, I wow. put salmon and a lot of faces and, you know, just some oddball type monsters and things like that. But generally I try to stay within the realm of, think, of Halloween. Halloween, the Halloween yeah, theme. I do. Now, what, do, you, do you jones for this, you know, in July <laughs> where you're not getting your pumpkin... Fixed. I'm done with it in November, but yeah, I, I do. It's so much fun. I love the kids and teaching the kids how to do things. I, it makes it fun for the kids because it's art, but it's getting, they're going to get messy. They're going to love that's digging right. into stuff. That's and right. Yeah, now, you have your own fundraiser you're working on, too, Kids on the Block. Oh, that's right. We have a benefit, a giant pumpkin carving contest at Bridgeport Village. Mm -hmm. It's coming up on the 27th uh, in the afternoon, about right. uh, from noon to 5 o'clock. Good. We've got the information on the screen there, yeah, so there folks can... How are you doing there, Dave? You doing well, okay? I, it's harder I, than you is. thought, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I've he got, that, I've got that part done. Yeah, you want me to come in here and neaten it up? Yeah, you want to? Right. Yeah. I'm going to use my special... Uh, this neatener up tool? My neatener upper tool. Yeah. And we'll just go right down along those lines like that. Yeah. Okay. We want to tell folks... Um, Again, that if you'd like to take part in our pumpkin poll, we love our polls, by the way, you can just go to our website. And it's, uh, what do you think? You know, where do you get your pumpkin? Do you get it at the grocery store, at the pumpkin patch, or maybe your neighbor's porch? That seems to be a very popular spot. Oh, look, right. at, look at that. At Tim. <laughs> well done. That hey, tomorrow great. on the show, Portland's top ten restaurants. We'll have that for oh, you. Oh, we'll find out what they are. Yeah, plus how Britney Spears' custody battle could affect you, what that means for you. And uh, Portland's Open Studios. Yeah, Portland Open Studios is a great event every year. You get to visit all the artists in their studios. They show you how they do their works of art. It's an incredible experience. Also, how to put winter color in your garden. All that is tomorrow. Tim, thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure. We appreciate it, sir. It's Thank my pleasure. Good work there, my Tim. Pleasure. Yeah, good work. Up. Look Have at that. Have a great day, everybody. Oh my God, this is very crafty. <laughs>